What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer, and welcome back to Pokemon Snakewood. <laughs> In the last episode, we attempted to go through the Duford City Gym and fight Haruko, only for us to get blown back by Sneasel. Fun times. In this episode, uh, we did a little bit of training. So we're going to do a very quick team recap because we didn't do a lot. Um, we got Magikarp up two levels, so that's a good place to start. Um, so we have Magikarp level 18, uh, who still has Splash and Tackle. We also did up a little bit of Mystery Egg, uh, who, still, who still has Harden and Leech Life. Um, move sets are pretty much the same. Uh, we also got Tapuku up to level 29, up from 27. 27 or 28. Uh, with Bide, Harden, Cut, and Fake Out. We have Poic, who's now level 29, with Psybeam, Harden, Rapid Spin, and Ancient Power. And we got Zigzagoon, who's right now a gem fodder. <laughs> um, okay, so do I think we're level enough for the gem? I don't know. Because that sneeze all messed me up last time. I'm hoping we're good this time. Um, but <laughs> really, only one way to find out. So we're gonna start off with we're gonna start with Sapuku. I'm not even gonna bother to do any switch with Magikarp because I really want this gym leader gone. So let's go. Let's get started. Let's try it. Blah 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 blah. All right. Here we go. Gym Leader Haruko. Um, something else, too. I forgot to mention it. Um, while I was in training, I, I picked up uh, an item uh, called the, uh, the Karamak, which apparently is a chocolate bar and raises one move's PP, so it's basically the same thing as an ether. As an ether. Ether, ether, however you pronounce it. So we got that, which is nice. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we're gonna go straight fake out first. Almost takes Pipuciano out first, which is nice. We're gonna go cut. And I <laughs> when I was editing the last episode, actually, now that I think about it, cut actually is, is um when I said that. Um, when I said uh, when Cut missed, I found out that it's actually because Cut doesn't have a 100% accuracy. It's actually 95. So I'm just like, oh. Well then. Alright then. And Howl actually increases his attack, not decrease mine. Anyway, we're here. Uh, we're gonna go straight up Ancient Power. I'm actually faster than Sneasel now, which is nice. Okay. One more Ancient Power should kill. Maybe not. Uh, can I do this? No. Okay. Whoops. I meant to hold L. 
Can I get stage increases? No. Nope. There's a shadow swipe. Oh, he's gone. <gasps> no, he's not. Okay. <laughs> I almost did the exact same thing as that episode when I beat, um, when I beat Buddy. Oh, you further. Now would be an excellent time for me to get a crit or stat increase. And I get neither. Now, I think I'm still faster because he hasn't increased his speed. Unless it's a speed type or a shadow swipe is priority. Okay. Uh, let's go Sapuku. Now I know, I remember he has inner focus. So he's not going to um, get the flinch. There's the ice punch. Now he uh, he's already bulk up once. So this, wow, okay. I could bide, or I could cut, because he's going to be faster than me. Um, let's cut. I'm going to cut, because I think... <sighs> I don't know what I'm thinking. If he uses another Ice Punch, I'm fine. Unless he gets a crit, which he doesn't. And a... Sapuku! Why? <sighs> Only thing... Actually... Actually, actually... Switch out to Magikarp. I have an idea. Ah, he was going to Shadow Swipe. Because now, what I'm going to do is send out Sapuku. Get the leftovers. Because that Shadow Swipe would have killed. Go with Fake Out. <laughs> Ooh, 300 experience. Very nice. Here's a Carvan, huh? I don't think... I th no, Karana has rough skin. Uh, let's keep Sapuku in. Leftovers, bop. Um, let's go cut. Just to see how much this does. Kills! Oh, sweet! Okay, has rough skin. Alright. Absol? I'm actually going to switch. I'm going to switch out to Zigzagoon. Because I don't really care for Zigzagoon. There's the Absol. I'm not going to switch. I'm actually going to force the Zigzagoon to... I'm going to force the Zigzagoon to kill me. Or to kill Zigzagoon. Razor wind. And we'll go Sapu. We'll go back out to Sapuku. Get the leftovers heal, which is very nice. Very nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then we'll go fake out. See how much this does. Not bad. I was hoping it was going to do at least half, but okay, I'll take it. Um, we'll go cut. Ooh. Oh, you also have Shadow Swipe. Doesn't do... Doesn't do a whole lot! Woo! Alright. And then we'll go cut again. Oh, you're gonna heal yourself. Alright. I mean, at least cut does a nice half damage. <laughs> so depending on what you... So depending on what you do here, I know you have Razor Wind and... Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright. 610 experience. Goo. Luxray. Yes, I'm going to switch out to Mystery Egg. I think I have... Oh, wait. He has two more left. She has two more. 
Yeah, I figured it was going to kill. And let's go back out to Seppuku. This is your number one on level 25. Then we'll go fake out. What happened to the sprite there? It just like went right down the screen. What the hell is that? <laughs> All right, let's go cut. I'm faster than Luxray. What the hell's the sprite doing? Um, okay. <sighs> okay, that didn't do what I hoped. That didn't do him as much as what I thought it was going to do. I thought it was going to do much more. Fair enough. I'll just keep. Oh! Sapuku with the crit! Oh, thank God. Thousand experience. Oh, I thought that was going to be enough for a level up. Who's this? King Maddie at level one? Uh, he has Wonder Guard. Meaning I gotta figure out what this guy's weakness is. What the hell? Well, it's definitely not normal. Okay. Normally, I don't do this. Uh, King Matteo type. I have no idea what- it's a ghost dark type. He's a ghost dark type. And of course he has wonder guard, meaning only super effective hits kill it. And we said that King Mario is a ghost dark type, so ghost dark type. Due to its wonder guard ability and typing, only with status moves? What? Are you serious? I don't have any status moves. Or with specific moves, abilities, and or items that can allow a super effective move. Usually fighting type move to connect. All other moves are blocked. What the hell? I don't have any status moves. What? Nothing I have. What? I don't even have a TM. What? What have I done? What happens if I use bide? Oh, 
What is this thing? What? But I'm I'm so confused. I'm I've ne I've never been this confused before. So apparently the ghost dark type has no weaknesses. Because apparently because I just looked it up, and apparently there's um there's an enemy. Or not so much as an enemy, but in the Pokestar Studios, when you do uh in um black and white too. There's there's an enemy you fight that you have to kill who has one regard and apparently is also the same typing as this King Matteo. Thankfully Bulbapedia lists what its type effectiveness is. And apparently the ghost dark typing has no weaknesses. And of course Wonder Guard means you can only hit with super effective moves because on right now only Shedinja has that ability but for some weird reason what mean this means that the only things that could kill this thing is status moves or any moves that always results in a super effective hit and apparently according to Bolopedia is only fighting I forgot what move it is, but apparently it's a fighting type move. Or at least, I think, or I might, or I might have read that Bubblepedia article wrong. And, nothing I have, nothing I have in my party the no, because Psybeam won't, because Psybeam does inflict confusion, but the confusion only only works if you're hit. I have nothing that <sighs> All right. Um I'm just trying to think now what to do. I could let this thing kill me. And keep the level and keep the level 30 Sapuku or is this is this gonna be actually it'll never happen because Sapuku has leftovers and his nightshade Hold on. What if I make it struggle? I can't believe this is gonna happen. Alright. So, I'm gonna do this. I don't. I normally don't do this, and I've had. I. I try not to. But. I'm gonna speed this battle up. Because eventually. He will run out of Nightshade. Maybe. Oh! He just got hit with recoil. So he does have a move. Okay, he's struggling now. <laughs> so he, he's struggling now. He's killing himself. This is actually insane. Oh, you frigger. Alright. This is actually crazy. I win this battle by struggle. <laughs> Thankfully the only move he had was Nightshade. Didn't have another move. But jeez. This is actually insane. Alright. Like it are you serious? Alright. 
Alright. Normally, I don't speed up the games, and I, I've had someone tell me before, like, they didn't want me to, so I try not to. But, in the case of this, I have no choice. This is crazy. I hope... Actually, you know what? I hope I run into this guy. Because this guy would be insane to have on the team. No, no joke, no lie. <laughs> That's insane, and he only gives me 54 experience. Just like, just as I expected from a Slayer of Dragons. I don't know why I went like a little bit grunty at the dragon part. Probably because it's capitalized. The meat miasma badge. All right. Will make all Pokemon up to level 30 obey you, even those obtained in trades. Also, have one of these TMO8. Is it like Shadow Swipe? What is it? Oh, and here it is from Brawly. He had um, arm bulk up. Bulk up would be actually wouldn't be all that bad to use. Now that I think about it. Now I need to get the G. Now I need to uh, GTFO. <laughs> That's insane, though. Okay. I'm being real here. Do I feel good about having won the battle like that? No. Having to force it to um, struggle? I nor And like I said before, it's like I don't normally uh, force... What? Oh. Pokephone. Alright, before we do this though, but before we answer the Pokephone, I try... I honestly try not to speed up any battles. Because I did so in Leaf Green. And... Someone in the comments told me like they didn't want me to do it because they feel like that it takes them away from... It, it, it takes them away from, from the video. And I respect that. And since then, like even with insert, like even when I try, even when I uh, failed at insurgents, same thing. I never sped up the game. And I tried to do so here. But you got to think about it this way too: is like in a battle that I just did, where I had to go through like Nightshade, for example. Let me just bring it up. Nightshade has a PP. Um, Nightshade has a PP of 15. Whether it now has a max of 24, so whether or not that Nightshade was 15 or 24, I had to sacrifice that many turns. And one, the battle, so me speeding up the battle for that A would have made the battle a lot less painful to watch because who who's going to want to watch... You use, uh, they use Nightshade, doing minuscule damage, I then using Bide, which meaning puts me at a commission at a, uh, for, two, for two, two straight turns, and then on top of that, then we got the Leftovers heal. Doing this for 15, doing this for 15 to 24 turns, like right now, we're at 23 minutes in the video. Actually, a little bit longer because of the training montage at the beginning. So we're probably at about we're probably at about 25 minutes right now. If I did that, if I did that battle without speeding up, we would still be in the battle right now. So those who do not want to, those who do, who usually so. Those who, um, now another idea, so halfway through that battle, I was going through my options, and during the training, I found a couple of Quillfish, and Quillfish has Poison Point, which, after looking up this, this guy, apparently he only dies by status effects, so I had the idea of resetting my game. To the point though, to the point that I restart, that I started this episode at catching a quailfish solely for poison point. But 
I thought about is that Poison Point only only hit only uh, hurts contact. Nightshade is not a physical contact move; it's special. And Wonder Guard prevents physical damage. So I thought about it and I was like, okay, what happens if I struggle it out? But like I said, we would have been here for half, this, this video would have been half an hour long and no one wants to watch a long ass battle like that for half an hour. No, not doing it. So I, now I will try not to speed up any more battles in the future unless I absolutely need to just like them. Anyway, we've been holding up this phone call for too long. Let's answer it. <laughs> Why is... Oh, there we go. Hello? It's me! Did you find out anything about Landon and May? Oops, forgot to ask anyone. But I did kill two dragon. Two? Oh yeah, because technically he was a trainer. That's besides the point. That's besides the point. Stop wasting time slaying monsters and find my daughter and your brother. Okay, okay, I'll ask around. Somewhere here will know something. See to it. See to it that you do. Click. Alright, so first we're going to heal, and this video is starting to get a little bit longer because I had to um, explain myself. Why? Uh, I think that's nothing. Alright, I just really spoke to the mic then, I apologize. Alright, so I'm going to end things off here. Um, in the next episode... We are going to do what the game asked us to do. We're going to continue the story a little bit. Already 10 hours into the game. That's insane. Um, okay, so we're going to go around Duford. And we're going to ask the people in around town for, uh, for May and uh, my brother. So... I'm going to leave things off here. If you, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button like you never clicked it before. And subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. I've been Chris the Chaos Gamer, and I will see you in the next video.